This is a F-150 truck. It is the same truck, just the manufacturing, like the entire manufacturing and everything. Back to another vlog. So uh, today we are on a road trip from Indianapolis to Michigan, and we'll be going to Detroit, which is a city in Michigan. Oh, I saw. I just saw that. I saw the monument circle. Hi all and welcome again. So, we have crossed a little bit almost one hour before Ohio and now we are at a gas station like just using the restroom. So, currently we are at the like you know we are at a rest area over here. There is Subway and then there is McDonald's. So we left our house around uh, probably 7 o'clock, 6.40 or 7 o'clock. And we were uh, like we were really sleepy and really hungry so we halted here and I just grabbed myself some uh, frappuccino. So we are at Subway now and we are just waiting for the food to come. So we are waiting for the food to come and we are also going to have some breakfast here. So today we are going to explore a lot of things. We are going to uh, be going to a Ford Museum where you can actually experience how they make cars and have a factory tour. So let's get in and have some breakfast. <laughs> oh, the breakfast already Thank ordered. Thank you. So we are finally at Detroit at the Henry Ford Academy over here. We are going for a tour at the Henry Ford uh, like village and we are going to take a bus tour for that. Father of 
so we are now heading to the theater where we will be uh, watching a documentary on the legacy of Henry Ford and sadly cameras are not allowed beyond this point so I'll see you on the other side as you come over to the front over here these panels over here will give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on on that living roof right there but i will be talking about the living room also these panels over here give you a little bit of a history of the roof plant itself that building is already through there that is all part of the roof plant The ducks were so the Easter babies were so cute. Now you see. Okay, that's nice. And then it just is gone. Oh, so so this is there only for this side or for entire some other places also that just we can't right into here where you can see the green. Ah, uh, and this is the largest living room mm -hmm. in the entire world. It was. It was. Now it's just in North America. I believe the largest living room is in Brazil. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, and you have all these like birds coming on. Yes, yes. Um, haven't seen a lot of geese lately, but see, our um, we haven't had any rain, and our ditches are and dry. Yeah, dry. Uh, okay. It hasn't rained in over a week. So over there, all those trucks or whatever we see, they are all going through the durability test right now. They will be delivered. Those are um, all finalized F-150s, uh, and they will be delivered. Okay, and what about there? Is there any kind of like testing or durability testing going on there? No, nothing in through there. Okay. Oh, they're they're just they're just like driving it and putting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those people are just they're driving them in there. Uh, they do test runs on some of uh, them. Okay, because I could see that truck there wobble a little bit. So, Can you? Yeah, I could see that wobble. So a friend of mine told me that they have a strip there, and it's supposed to be. They wobbled. could. They could. Uh, they could. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. okay. But they do all kinds of different right. testing yeah. in through here. Okay. A lot of the t uh, testing comes right down this road right here. Oh. Now, like this morning, when I was coming up into work, um, coming toward me on the other side of the road, th there must have been 10 F-150 Lightnings. Oh. Okay. So, and they were driving with their blinkers on, and I have no idea where they were going, because, you know, that was all fourth country. They could have been going to the uh, engineering department. They could have been going anywhere. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So this entire area gets covered by snow even during winters. So they still park these here, or is there a facility inside? Do they what? Like, like they are currently all parked together here. Mm -hmm. So this is summer season. So during snow, when this entire place gets covered by snow, do they still park the fresh trucks? Oh yeah, because they clear the snow off of us. Ah, okay. Yes. They keep clearing the snow mm -hmm. and they. Yeah. See now, when outside. I today is Saturday when I worked. Um, Three days ago, there was nothing in that parking lot. Ah, oh, okay. Got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank You're you welcome. So much. So, how I know, here they have all of these panels where you know, different movements and different things. And one more thing I would want to point out, which I'll show you from my phone. So, there you can see the Detroit uh, skyline. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll just zoom in from my phone and show you. And right behind that, you see another building. So, that is actually Canada. That entire strip is Canada. And the buildings like that you see closer to you, they are Detroit skyline and just beyond that is the entire Canadian skyline. And this entire thing that you see behind me over here, entire thing is the factory area. Everything comes under the Ford Rouge factory and those are, I believe, a lot of fresh trucks, those were like just constructed and yeah, that's pretty much the entire factory area. So this is the green roof, the world's largest living roof that you see here in front of me. So <clears throat> basically this entire roof, it is covered with plants and it helps to maintain a certain temperature inside. You can read all this here. Yeah, like this is crazy.
and there if you see those trucks there is the durability test happening and a lot of like you can see basically a kind of a fleet of different trucks those are freshly manufactured and kept here the entire thing is going on These are the plants covering the top of the roof. like assembled inside the factory and they have all been lined up here so we just got out of this factory place so we just got done with the entire factory tour so we saw all the uh, parts of the F-154 truck being assembled and it was a very very nice experience got to know a lot of automobiles here right behind me if you see is an entire lineup of all fresh, uh, like fresh cars that have been <laughs> made just today. And if you see very clearly, like very closely, you can also see some kind of numbers written on them. So those are like the because they are just brand new, right? They are just made, and now they are ready to be delivered to customers. Now we are heading out from the uh, factory and we will be going towards the bus the bus will come and pick me up and once the bus comes and picks us up then we will be heading to the museum which is in the Ford village and we are currently again to just let you know we are again at the Dearborn in Detroit you can see all these trucks all new Ford 150 right here and then there are some of these fancy Mustang cars so Mustang as you would know is also a Ford brand and just behind me you can see a whole lineup of different Ford cars here from Mustang Very good. Um, let's go down. So right behind me are the different uh, Ford models of beginning right from the 1900. So this one, the very very beautiful one, that's the Ford Thunderbird. It's uh, I think. You can see the size of these tires, they are like almost till my waist and this is a 2017 model, here is the right in the complete engine over here and 
the entire setup i will not go into the complete mechanics because i myself am not very well versed with it but this is i believe these are all some uh, like spare uh, tires that uh, you can you know where you can store the tire and then over here is a Ford 1927 model this was the first Ford uh, model that was made uh, public uh, like or concealed which has endured as Ford family i am so proud of our heritage in Ford This is Ford 1929 model. Then this is with the V8 engine. 1932. This one again 1932. It's called Ford VB. And then as we move ahead, we have the Thunderbird. most beautiful car and then that's the ford mustang thunderbird fun activity for kids Okay, I think we can go. Just like that, you can trace me. I think it's basically this thing is there, and then you can like keep tracing whatever you want, like this, like a kit. Chalo, let's go. and one more thing that i would like to add is that this is a f150 truck here the chassis of a f150 truck but this is completely an electric truck it's powered by electricity and not by uh, like natural gas and not by fuel so that's why there is like no fuel tank on the back side but instead they have like more of uh, uh, like a charger or like a big battery where all the electricity and everything is stored this is a f150 truck it is the same truck just key manufacturing like the entire manufacturing and assembling process that we saw just a while back And you can see how high this is. I'm literally five six. This must be at least at least five feet high, right? Minimum of five feet high, you know. And oh, I don't think this is a huge truck. and this is the box that it has and from i guess from here there is an extension with which you can attach a boat or if you want to tow away something it can move from here i guess oh yeah from here i think it opens i'm not sure though this is a huge truck literally This is the engine of the truck here. Now we are leaving. So now we are finally leaving the Ford Roots factory. Bus, uh, like the shuttle bus that takes us to that place. 